Hi, this is Denise from Homeworks. Really cool stuff for the home. And this is my second segment on one of my favorite appliance manufacturers, and that's Blue Star, an American-made company for over 140 years. And we've got some big news to talk about that 140-year milestone, too, in a few minutes. And Nick was my co-host last week when we were talking about all the reasons why you would want a professional range for the home made by Blue Star and how so many chefs gravitate towards the Blue Star because of all the professional features like the open burner. There's no better way to get that perfect flame with a fuel and oxygen rate than with an open flame. And then with the large capacity oven stemming from their professional ranges. So last week we talked a lot about why chefs wanted to have a Blue Star in their personal home. And in all of us that have that inner chef, we want that same thing in our own home so we get restaurant uh, professional quality in our cooking. But this segment, we're gonna talk about why you'd want a beautiful Blue Star kitchen in your home. And Blue Star um, is one of the designer's top um, go-to uh, manufacturers because of all the different things that they can do and it's amazing and Nick how are you doing today I'm great how are you doing good I heard that you're back on the road again after the COVID right gave a test run. we gave my first test run yeah. so went well it was good to be yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, again, so you're so. gone a lot aren't you um, meeting with your dealers yes Yes. And giving yeah, them like I, I just said, I put a, I just traded my car and put 225,000 miles on it. Oh my years. goodness! Yeah. So. Well, I hope <laughs> to get you today. down here. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Texas, they're <laughs> far piece. But yes. let's talk about the customization on the ranges. Um, yeah. uh, go ahead and speak to that a little bit. I'm going to probably jump in because there's I, this is my passionate side, you know, about yeah. the design of it. Well, I've always said we have a basically two main niches of our customer, the people that really love chefs, people that love cooking foodies that will like the performance of it. But a lot of the other part is designers mm -hmm. um, or just people that really want to pop and are just sick of your basic, just stainless steel across the whole kitchen. Um, now you really have an opportunity to make a one of a kind kitchen for yourself. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the two mix a chef that likes a colored kitchen. But um, one of the reasons we can offer this is uh, we have our own powder coating operation in our factory. We're one of the top five powder coaters in the country um, consistently. Um, if you look at even our old prizer stoves, uh, the original units we made, mm -hmm, those right. all had color options. Mm -hmm. um, so even during depression areas, we were able to keep the factory running because of our powder coating mm -hmm. operation. Uh, we did so much with it. Um, but it's why we can offer what we do. Uh, we have over a thousand different color options right now, which that's amazing. amazing. That's incredible. Yeah. You can, it's amazing how many husbands and wives delay the orders over just exactly. I like that. Blue, yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. When, when you mm -hmm. offer that as many as we have. Um, but, and then we also have 10 metal plated options. Mm -hmm. um, so you can add a pop of trim, which a lot of designers really like mm -hmm. uh, because you have all your cabinetry with different handle accents. You have antique brass, uh, coppers, mm -hmm. pewters. Mm -hmm. We can match all that up. So, and you know, we've seen that even if they don't do color, they will do plating like this has really been popular a stainless steel range with brass plating oh my gosh it's beautiful and yes. then you do the blast brass plating on the ventilation and the fridge and the ovens and it just really dresses it up a lot and now you put your brass handles on your cabinets you've got a designer kitchen without yeah. any color or yeah. just knobs you can just do a knob color um you know, I've had customers that actually bought different knobs for different seasons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had one yeah. customer that bought green for St. Patrick's Day. There you go. <laughs> so that makes a big difference. And then also mixed metals. You know, uh, I've had a couple that have done that as well. That's really a designer trick where they'll do some of it would be brass and the plating and some of it would be um, stainless. Like say your handle part, the the rod is stainless, but the ends are brass. That That is pretty too. With just a little bit of a touch of something just to make it, you know, uh, stand out amongst all the other cookie cutter type of kitchens, right? Exactly, yeah. And then you have some samples there too uh, of some of the different colors. Yeah, well, we have um, our standard 190 colors. We have our color fan. When Look you think of standard colors, yeah, uh, you don't think of 190, but yeah, we have 190 different colors. Um, the standard colors are in a gloss finish, mm -hmm. but all of them can be in a matte finish mm -hmm. as well. 
Um, and so black mat is that. real popular, is very popular. Yes. The black mat with the brass Matt trim. It's been huge. Um, it's tough to see, but this is our mat samples. Mm -hmm. It kind of has a different finish to it and it still has a mm -hmm. gloss. Oh, yeah, you can um, tell. You can, yeah, you yes. can see that. Yeah. Um, so, right now, I'm doing a lot of matte black and brass behind me. The hood is matte black with mm -hmm. antique brass trim. Mm -hmm. um, Beautiful. I have matte black nails with antique brass mm -hmm. uh, bezels on them there. Right. Uh, so, I do matte sapphire. Sapphire blue with brass mm -hmm. has been also very, very mm -hmm. big for me. Uh, but it just adds another thing. Um, there's some brands that are getting into matte finishes a lot, and uh, we always want to be a step above, a step ahead of everybody mm -hmm. in terms of the color options. Mm -hmm. So we offer everything in matte. Mm -hmm. 190 different colors mm -hmm. come in matte. Finishes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, we also have our Precious Metals color line, mm -hmm. um, which has enchanted sand, enchanted silvers. The um, copper. Kind of have, yeah, shimmer to it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's also very popular. And we have our textured color line. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can get 190 colors of different metal text, different texture finishes, mm -hmm. uh, how the paint reacts differently and kind of bubbles up in different textures. Right, more leather so, type of look. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the metal trim options we have, we have 10 different options there. Um, I already showed you antique brass, but we have uh, polished brass here, has kind of a shine to mm -hmm. it. We have brushed brass. Uh, copper has the same, antique copper, brushed mm -hmm. copper, polished. Uh, we have pewter, oil rub, bronze, chrome, and stainless steel as well. So we have 10 different finish options. What colors do you find are the most popular? Uh, right now, like I said, matte black and brass is yeah. very huge. Yeah, uh, but if you look here. at our top 10 colors, blues are very big right yeah. now. Yeah, uh, blue and red. We have a lot of red in our area. Some white. Yeah. But black yeah. seems to be, and then we uh, we've done pinks and oranges, but there are not as many people that are doing that. And another neat thing, speaking about that pink or orange range, so say you have a customer that is interested in a pink range, but they're just intimidated that what's going to happen in ten years if I want to blow my brains out? Why did I do the yeah. pink? Well, there is something that Blue Star offers. You want to talk about yeah, that? Uh, one cool thing, you're never, that's never a set in stone decision it's with the ranges. Um, if you open the doors, there's five screws across the top and five on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You can just pop that outside panel off. Uh, if you're if you're moving and you're not bringing your range, your pink range with you, uh, and your realtor says, uh, it's going to be a tough sell in a pink range, mm -hmm. you can just send your stainless steel panels and you can pop them right on. The kick right. panel has three screws that hold it, and you can just pop it, make it all back to stainless. Mm -hmm. So. If you do love pink and 10 years down the line, mm -hmm. you think, what was I thinking? Right, there you go. Right you know, a... I've actually had three people make changes after mm -hmm. the fact, after they've got the range in, and one was about a year after, the, I forget the other one, one was about six months after, and you know sure. what the problem was? They what? ordered it in stainless steel, and they okay. regretted doing the color. So once they were okay. in their home, they kept thinking about if my range was that color, how neat that would be. So we were able to bring in the color after the fact. So I would have thought it would have been the opposite. People with colors, because we've done some unusual colors. And sometimes I second guess my customer go, wonder why they picked that. But once we see the finished result, I've never seen a kitchen where I thought, oh man, they missed that. I, yeah. It always <laughs> came out perfect. Oh, I see, I understand why they picked that color. It just makes exactly. it an individual, their personal kitchen kitchen yeah, so that, that's yeah. kind of cool um, and I've had cases where there was mistakes on the order where it's uh, they wanted a stainless steel range with blue knob or they wanted a blue range with uh -huh. stainless steel knobs and uh -huh. there was a mistake in the order and it was vice versa I've gone and swapped them out and made it exactly right there you go it. exactly you have to return the whole range and make a wait six weeks for a new one we just got new panels popped it out told them cook on it all you want until we fix it and you're good to go yeah exactly and another thing too besides just all the different colors that you can do there are other things that you can customize on these ranges on the tops you can do griddles you can do grills um you can do french tops and i always get questioned about what is a french top what is your take on a french top how do you uh, tell people what that is well um not to sound impolite, but I usually, if somebody asks me what a French top is, I usually tell them, if you don't know, don't worry yeah, about exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. A lot of my, a lot of people that go with a French top are chefs out there. Yes, or, or have gone to culinary school. Yes. For some reason, they like uh, it. Yeah. So, what it is, it's a 24 inch cooking area with different zone cooking. Mm -hmm. It's got a high power burner inside, uh, right in the middle, and there's rings as you go out. Uh -huh. So, you have different heats. It is, for pots and pans to be on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, I had, again, like a customer that 
didn't know what she was getting. Got a French top and called up. Oh, said no. Was a fire, <laughs> and she was cooking food directly. Oh, on no. It. Yeah. Dripping through the rain. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, man. And <laughs> so, oh, no. Like, yeah. But it's for, yeah, like you, you want to bring it up to high heat, you hold it right in that center. Uh -huh. You want to move it back to simmer. Uh -huh. You just slide it over to the corner and right in the middle of uh -huh. the middle zone. You just move them around as you go. Yeah. Uh, one of our biggest proponents of our French tops is Michael Simon. Uh -huh. um, a very famous chef, the Iron yeah. Chef uh, from Iron Chef America. Yeah. The Great America. Right. Um, but he does French tops in his whole, all of his restaurants yeah. at French tops. Yeah. And every blue star he puts in his homes always have to have that 24 inch French yeah. top. Yeah. We have Andrew Weissman here locally. He did a double French top on his oh. 60 inch. And he just says, well, it's when you've got a fast kitchen, you know, mm -hmm. that you're cooking a lot. And this is places where you can do the green beans and the potatoes and the this and that. And you can quickly move them around as you need to, you know, from, from hot to cooler and keep yeah. it warm. Um, and so I guess when people ask me again, you know, if they, what is a French top? Well, I'll kind of explain it to them, but I'll tell them it really, if you've never worked with it, it's probably something that you're not going to appreciate maybe the griddle might be something you know better yeah. and and speaking about that griddles are not just for pancakes a lot mm -hmm. of people will think about you know i like a griddle but i don't, I don't know if i want to have it fixed or i just don't know if i want to give up two of my burners and I've told customers a lot of times, you know, that can be a warming plate. You can cook on it. If you have all your burners used up and you want to cook your green beans on a pan, you can do that on a griddle. You know, but anything you could use your flat bottom fry pan for, that's what you would use your griddle for. What do, yeah. what do you use to tell customers? I am um, I'm the breakfast cook at home. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I made sure I got a griddle on my yeah. range top mm -hmm. uh, because I have three kids. Um, Two of the one can't talk yet, but the ones that do demand chocolate chip pancakes every morning. Oh, <laughs> so, nice. <laughs> but once you turn on the griddle, you kind of use it, like you said, you can use it for everything. Like, this is on, I might as well throw everything. So all the right. bacon goes on it, all sausage goes on it. I do eggs, so I always fry an egg next to the bit while I'm cooking everything all together. Uh, so you kind of just find that it's temperature control. Um, our griddles on our R&B range are cold rolled steel. Um, and there's a temperature probe that goes right down the middle of it. So you just set it to the specific temperature. Uh, and you're good to go from there. Um, just like a restaurant good. griddle, just like a restaurant griddle. Exactly, exactly. Uh, our platinum lines, it's a kind of a different, gr it's, I, when people are talking about the griddles and they ask about the difference between the R&B and the platinum mm -hmm. griddle, I kind of ask them what they're cooking. Yeah. Uh, because mm -hmm. the platinum griddle is a removable griddle mm -hmm. and there's a frame that holds a cast iron mm -hmm. griddle plate over our two burners. Mm -hmm. So you don't really get the temperature control that you do in the R&B griddle. Mm -hmm but you can go more searing. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to do steaks, if you want to do your charbroil, if you want to, you fire up those 25,000 D2 burners under it. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to do high heat griddling, mm -hmm. that's the one for you. Mm -hmm. If you want to do temperature controlled griddling, pancakes, bacon, where 350, 375 is where you're going, the R&B griddle is what I would suggest mm -hmm. for that, mm -hmm. but we do have options. And also for that customer that just doesn't want to commit to a fixed griddle, that mm -hmm. gives them the flexibility to, you know, have the griddle at hand if they want to. And also mm -hmm. you have the option of the grill and the char grill, you know, and a lot of people are doing char grill with their vegetables, like vegetable skewers. And that's been real popular in my area. Yeah. Definitely. You see the same thing in your area. You probably see more char grills built in though, right? Um, um. Not very I, many? Gee, not as much. Um, I know our, our rep in New York does a lot more of that Because of the stuff, weather, whether yeah. Whether it's their apartments or something, mm. they can't have a barbecue yeah. outside. Yeah, um, uh -huh. So, we'll, or if it's where there's snowy weather, um, you get more people right. that get char grill. So, when yeah. it's snowy we, outside, yeah. there's no barbecue. Yeah, we see the same thing. We rarely do a char grill because we have so many outdoor kitchens, yeah. you know, and then whenever you're char grill, that is a little bit messier. You know, so yeah. doing it outside is a really good idea. But saying that, if you have a big mess, I love the way that the trays are underneath and you can take them out and just pop them in the dishwasher if you have a yeah. big mess, right? And exactly. So uh, so a lot of griddles, that's one advantage we have with the open burner is the cleanup of the griddle. Mm -hmm. um, whereas a lot of brands that have the griddle, it just kind of has a reservoir on the front. Mm -hmm. It's a little plastic. If you're doing a lot of bacon, that's going to fill up immediately. Right. Uh, so with ours, that we have our grease tray that pulls right out. Everything goes right down to there. And it's a huge space where it's hidden until you're ready to clean it up. Uh, so it's very easy to clean up. And they have them separated. I think on yours, there's like three different pans, right? So if only a little area is um, got messed up, you can just take it and pop it in the dishwasher. 
Exactly. You don't have to clean up the entire thing. Just wherever that spilled, you just take that one out, wipe it, put it back in, you're good to go. Mm. So um, on the, the knobs, I have customers, too, that um, are, are just, you know, really reluctant to do a big color kitchen, but they want a dash of something and then doing just the color knobs. I know we talked about that a little bit, but that like on your machine right there on the range top, if you did a color knob um, and with the brass plating, that would totally change the look of that area. Oh, yeah. Like say you wanted to do red. Set, like you said, you have customers that have a separate set. Mm -hmm. um, so. You can always pop them on and off. I, as you said, I had a customer that got a set of red and green knobs on yeah. Christmas. Mm -hmm. so I had one. Yeah. They do. Um, they don't fall off. You got to give them a little bit. But you can always swap it. If I want an orange knob on uh -huh. this now, look at how. See how what a difference that makes. Yeah. Just that one thing, right? Yeah. I have so one customer that oh. I heard about. It wasn't my customer, but I heard that uh, she did a different color knob for each knob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I liked to have seen her kitchen. I bet it was very, very colorful. Yeah. <laughs> and a, a lot of things, too, that people want to do is kind of experiment. And one of the things that I love that Blue Star has done is they have a page on their website where you can go and you can build your own dream. So you can actually pick the size of the range that you want, the series of the range, and then it will give you all the different colors. Now, mindful of the fact that your monitor may not be quite true. That's where you want to come into our store or, you know, your local dealer or get a color sample sent to you. Um, but it allows you to play with color, play with the different platings even. Like, say you wanted to do that pink range with the purple knobs and the pewter uh, plating. You can see what it kind of looks like. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it very, very simple um, to kind of mix and match. I have a lot of customers that play around with that. Um, and when you do that, you can screenshot it. You can also go select a quote. And wherever you are that goes to your rep, uh, anybody in my territory that does that, I get that lead. I go through it and I can price it all out for them, tell them exactly, I itemize exactly what each upcharge. So if they have a budget and the quote's a little over their budget, mm -hmm. they can go, eh, maybe I don't want the pewter trim. Right. Uh, they can do that. So mm -hmm. try to make it as easy as possible for customers. And then I send it on, recommend the local dealers to go to. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, it's always best to see a physical sample. Right. Mm -hmm. um, as screen resolutions are different for every computer. Mm -hmm. uh, so all of our dealers do have the color fan. Mm -hmm. uh, so the customer can bring in a Sherman Williams color and hold it up to the fan and find the perfect match. Um, there are websites uh, out there that do cross referencing of Sherman Williams right. colors and we're, what ours is called is the RAL color system, mm -hmm. which is uh, worldwide so standard. To Sherman Williams, you find out what the match is. Uh, we also send out physical samples as mm -hmm. well, um, as these are pieces of steel that are powder coated. Mm -hmm. You can go to our website and, and get these as well, so you can have them in your kitchen and hold them up mm -hmm. while your designer would like to do that mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. we offer that. So that's yeah. always the best way to make the decision that you'll be most confident. Right, in. that's that's the only way to do it. Don't just do it off the monitor. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you you have a great website too. I like the way that you you put it by sections, you know, cooking, refrigeration, ventilation. It's a great website. So then you go to your, let's say we're doing the ranges and you go to the ranges. You can even pick the series of ranges. It'll give you a price point, you know, to start with. And, and it's a very user-friendly website. And I love the fact that they've given a a lot of background information about the history and speaking of history again they're celebrating 140 years that's amazing um, an american-made company with american-made parts but tell them about the anniversary model and the special features on that well yeah uh, we started making stoves in reading pennsylvania um, in 1880 uh, at factory mm -hmm. called prizer painter stove works uh, so to kind of give an idea a timeline of it. The light bulb was invented in 1878. Um, and two years later, we started making stoves in the factory. Mm -hmm. um, I was lucky enough when I started working, I worked in that original factory. And I'll tell you, it was a uh, I've fire seen marshal's it. nightmare. I place. know. I <laughs> couldn't believe it. it was, and I couldn't believe how big it was, Nick, for as old as it was. I was very, very surprised at the huge uh, factory. What was it, a block long? Seriously, it was huge. It was it was five stories high, um, and I would say a city block, but it was it was pretty long, mm -hmm. um, and um, it had the wooden beams that supported were just these massive. You can only imagine the trees they came from. Um, 
but it had been around since 1880, so mm -hmm. it was it was time falling apart. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, and as we've expanded on our refrigeration yeah. line, on our ventilation line, mm -hmm. we've upgraded our factory significantly. Mm -hmm. We stayed in the area, um, but we just kind of outgrew that factory. We mm -hmm. kept it around for test labs and things like that, so we can still have that story. Um, but so, but yeah, it's a quite an accomplishment. Um, 140 years. So what we did, we um, launched our anniversary platinum range. Uh, it comes in uh, heritage blue. Mm -hmm. um, which we use for all of our brochures. We match that color that's on all of our Brewstar mm -hmm. brochures and offer that as a free paint up charge for the for the Platinum 140th mm -hmm. anniversary mm -hmm. range. Um, what they will also get is a star badge. Mm -hmm. um, the older Blue Star units had just a star logo, um, which I which love. A lot by of the way, did like. Mm -hmm. I love. Yeah. I yes. Wish, uh, I, I the put my name on the list. <laughs> we... I put my name yeah. on the list. So I'd love to have those <laughs> those uh, uh, stars come back. They are, but from a marketing standpoint, it's not very good for, for brand name recognition. Mm -hmm. We didn't have our name anywhere on our products. Mm -hmm. So if somebody could have seen 20 blue stars in their life and they would say, what's a blue star? Because uh -huh. <laughs> our name is nowhere on our product. Yeah. So just to kind of help get our name out there, mm -hmm. we moved away from that star logo into the badge. Mm -hmm. But as you were saying, a lot of people did really love that star love logo. Mm -hmm. So we brought back the star badge for that specific heritage range. Mm -hmm. And it has 140 years etched in the badge as well. Um, so you can get that cool blue color upgrade. Anytime I have a customer that does the build your own lead and does any blues, mm -hmm. I say, hey, Look you might be this. interested in this 148 mm -hmm. anniversary range mm -hmm. and it's free color. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're doing that until the end of the year this year to celebrate 140 years. It's a nice blue too. I call it um, a neutral blue because it's a color blue that you compare many other colors with it. You know what I mean? It's not just a yeah. uh, striking vivid blue. It's just that, um, I don't, I don't know how you would, what do you call it? What kind of blue is it? It's very close to our sapphire blue. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're, if you have a uh, color book, it's five zero zero three sapphire blue. I can't uh, believe I didn't bring one it. Of our most popular blue. Yeah, this is the five yeah. zero zero three. Uh, it's kind right of a here. deeper darker blue. Yeah, it's yeah. really pretty. It really so is. So it's very close to that, and that's one of our most popular selling mm -hmm. blues as it is. So it uh, makes sense to have that offering and it's very mm -hmm. customers are very happy to see that they can get that for free mm -hmm. and it's on any platinum range 24 mm -hmm. inches up to 60 inches. yes it's been real popular in my showroom that's for sure the fact that it's free number one yeah. i've even had some customers who yeah. um just because it's 140 years and it's american made it 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 resonates with them you know to, I, I even say yeah. can you believe this i mean this is 140 years continuous operation, American made, American products. Um, that's that's something to be proud of. And it's something that I see more and more customers really, I have one customer that upgraded to a platinum just because she could get that. She wanted that and that meant something to yep. her, American made in her kitchen. I had another lady in earlier that found me because she was looking for uh, American made products. And she came across Blue yep. Star, fell in love with you and we're doing a, a, a huge Blue Star kitchen for her. Um, because it's American made. So it, it resonates with people nowadays and, and the fact that it's so well made and has all those professional commercial features. And another neat thing is the doors. If you wanted to, like, so especially for my petite chefs, you can take the doors on most of the ranges and you can have a side swing right or left on a 36 or a 30. And then on the 48, you can do... Um, the large oven can be left swing and then you can keep the right oven whatever one can be drop down one can be swing or both of them swing what do you, what do you usually find people yes. like the the doors to be swung for uh well um especially one one um spot we were on uh, the reality with a little couple uh, oh, they did our perfect. french door yeah oven in their kitchen mm -hmm. Uh, because they had smaller arms um, mm -hmm. and reaching over a drop down door wasn't very mm -hmm. conducive to them. Uh, mm -hmm. It was much easier for them to have those swing out mm -hmm. doors. They can go right in, grab the stuff. Mm -hmm. They weren't in danger of uh, burning themselves mm -hmm. or reaching over. Mm -hmm. It was much more convenient for them. Mm -hmm. um, so, or if a customer has, say, an island in their kitchen and pulling a drop down door would back them right up to that, mm -hmm. so you could just swing it open and have room to work still. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, a lot of times, some customers just get it as a cool cosmetic little upgrade but it does have a function in, in mm -hmm. some cases mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. i have a lot of customers that want it just because they think it looks cool <laughs> another thing to make it more personalized <laughs> something different unique right yeah 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 um but yeah my my we used to always say uh 
a lot of blue shirts are like a snowflake. You only see one of them that's set up that exact way. Right, <laughs> because yeah. they're handcrafted. Uh, they're not just cookie cuttered out, exact yeah. stove every time. Uh, uh, with the swing doors too, uh, they always have to swing out. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can't have those clapping into each right, other. Right, uh, So yeah. that's one thing that was Exactly. Um, and another thing too about on the on trend that I see is maybe the range will be the bold color and then everything else will be either stainless or hidden behind wood panels. You know, like the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say that we did a, a blue star range that is um, a green. Well, maybe the refrigerator, with, green with brass. And then the refrigerator, maybe we do some brass on stainless or the dishwasher. Maybe we exactly. will put a wood panel on that. And I've also brought in their, your handles to put on other manufacturers. Um, like say I'm doing a dishwasher and I bring in a, a wood panel and then I'll use your handle on it in brass. Um, it, it just kind of ties yeah. everything together. You know, there's so many different things that you can do with Blue Star and all the customization. Yeah. Um, what do you think is the next new big trend? Do you have any idea? What do you think? In terms of color? Yeah, in terms of color or features or... Uh, or... Oof. Um, well, I believe I saw um, every year the Pantone Kitchen Queen comes out with the color of the year. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's sometimes it's this. Um, from what I've heard, the next one is going to be a red. A deep oh, red. okay. Oh, I'm uh, all for that one. Has gone away a little bit, but uh, they're predicting that might be the, that's yeah. going to be the color of the yeah. year. Uh, so last year, was, I believe, Living Coral, which was kind of an orangey pink. I wasn't crazy um, about that. They've, they've doing pinks lately but now yeah they're saying red yeah for this coming year yeah i like pinks i'm not crazy about corals i've done a couple of ranges yeah. in in pink i did one um uh, built-in fridge all in pink and it was drop dead gorgeous the application where the customer put it in their pantry and then they had so many other items that they have collected over the years pinks and whites it was just it was stunning absolutely stunning so many things that you can do so, you know, I, I think that uh, we're going to continue to see more color. I'm seeing more and more color, and I'm seeing people coming in not so anxious about color. Like they would come in before, and they wanted to embrace the color, but they were just anxious about it. You know, am I doing the right thing? You know, what about resale? Now they're coming in, and they don't even want to talk about stainless. They want to do color. I'm seeing more and more and more of that. And also plating. I mean, there's... Brass is tr on trend. It never goes out of style, but it is definitely on trend. Um, and I'm seeing more yes. copper coming in. Haven't you seen more copper coming in? I'm seeing it. Yeah, I'm starting to see copper with with blues now. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one beautiful display. Um, I just saw a pop up with copper and blue. Mm -hmm. It came up very very nice. Mm -hmm. I did a beautiful. Uh, yeah, brass has always been brass yeah. has been pretty good. Uh, brass on trend. But, uh, Not so yeah. much pewter um, or anything, but just mainly brass. Yeah. But, uh, and one other topic I, I totally forgot to mention too. Uh, one of the big advantage we have uh, is we, like I said, we do all the powder coating in mm -hmm. our factory. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't have to outsource that work. So the advantage we have there is price and lead time. Mm -hmm. uh, so a price, if you want your full 60 inch range, double doors, mm -hmm. kick panel, it's $895 yeah. to do a custom paint job on it. That's pretty and good. And only adds, at worst, it adds a week to the lead time. Mm -hmm. um, or some uh, some manufacturers, it's months. Oh you yes, want, you want mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. range mm -hmm. uh, because they outsource that paint. Mm -hmm. We do it all in house, it's done in our factory. Mm -hmm. So right now, a custom that Heritage Platinum range would be a five week lead time mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. and you get your own customized range painted mm -hmm. towards whatever color you wanted in five weeks. Because mm -hmm. like I said, we do it all in house in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. um, the panels meet the range at the end of the line, and it goes right mm -hmm. to you. And that's another thing too. Remember, these are built to order. You don't have a bunch of stock laying around. It's built to order. So whether it's LP, natural gas, fringe top, you know, the char broiler, um, interchangeable char broiler, if it's gonna have a side door, it's all done, built to your order. And another thing I've seen too, I don't have any callbacks about the paint. The paint really holds up really well. Yeah, it is a powder coating, mm -hmm. which is known as a very durable finish. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want to walk up and bang with a hammer, but mm -hmm. it can take some some wear and tear yeah. and still hold up very nicely. Yeah. You don't want to bang a stainless steel panel either, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, there, the um, actual website is bluestarcooking.com. Yes. Um, and then my website is homeworkssa.com. 
But if you go to bluestarcooking.com, you can get their history, you can see all the different products, and you can build your own dream kitchen, which is so awesome. And Nick, it was enjoyable talking with you once again. So many things to talk about. Next week, I'd like to invite you back. Would you come back? I'll be glad to. Okay, I want to talk about ventilation. That's a whole nother ball game altogether. There's a lot to talk about. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much for um, speaking with me today about the, all the different customizations. I really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you. Always a pleasure.